God gave me this platform. I already know I'm going to win. China did our vote. Biden and Harris would say, hey, we're here to protect the country and resign. Mike Lindell's a conspiracy theorist. But you haven't. Just forget about the evidence. This was attacked. <laughs> so uh, now, Mike Lindell took to a show on Tuesday to talk about an encounter that he had with federal agents in the parking lot or uh, really the drive through of a Hardee's in Minnesota. Uh, that, of course, led to a ton of mockery, including from the restaurant itself. That said, let me show you, I got a couple of videos for you. Here's the first one uh, of Mike Lindell. Take a look. The FBI came after me and took my phone. They surrounded me at a Hardee's and uh, took my phone. I run all my business, everything with. Um, um, they could have just, what we've done is weaponize the FBI, um, it's disgusting. I don't have a computer, everything I do have that phone, everything was on there, and, uh, um, and they told me not to tell anybody. Here's an order, not to, don't tell anybody, okay, I won't. <laughs> well, I am. Oh, you did the FBI, they, they went and took my phone, and there's everything on it, it's on the phone, uh, all the evidence, uh, that we have of the election, it's everything that's there. Uh, right, they took the phone and then they told me not to talk about it, but I'm talking about it. Hey, that's what I'm doing. Hmm. I don't know what's more funny. The fact that he claims to run his entire business from his phone, which seems rather ridiculous. Uh, or the fact that, again, that he's told not to talk about it and then immediately blabs to everyone. <laughs> uh, they told me not to say anything, but I totally did, you know. Hey, uh, good job, Mike. You're really sticking it to the man. Nice work. <laughs> but no, it actually gets better because later on, he goes on his show and does even more hilarious whining. I got some bad news. And I go, okay, here it comes, right? He goes, uh, we're taking your cell phone. We have a warrant for your cell phone. I go, no, I said my whole company... I run five companies off that. I don't have a computer. My hearing aids run off this. Everything runs off my phone. I said, and then I said, if I don't give it to you, will you arrest me then? And, they, and I, I was just, you know, I'm going, are you kidding me? You're not getting my phone. And uh, he, he, so he shows me this arrest where we're going to put it up here in a thing or not. This phone uh, arrest phone to arrest my phone. Uh, I can't even imagine you can just take somebody's phone I can't imagine that they would just take somebody's phone. You know, how, I, like, oh my God, the, the FBI come and, and, and took my stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what they do. <laughs> Especially if you're, I don't know, having to be related or uh, to, to any crimes that could have happened. Oh, but I can't believe they would actually go after me and take my phone. I can't believe they're weaponizing it. And they tried to arrest my phone. They tried to arrest my phone. I, I, that's, again... The other great part. No, they didn't arrest your phone. <laughs> Again, they wanted to see if there was any evidence related to any crimes that were on the phone. Oh, my goodness. It, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> the whining. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, now, that said, getting back to how Lindell obviously has been very, very open. He's been doing the entire right-wing media circuit where he's like, oh, I can't believe the FBI would go after criminals like that. Like myself. Uh, well, word got around to Donald Trump. Uh, now, on Tuesday night, Trump took to Truth Social, uh, or, you know, you know, <laughs> what is it? Truth, Truth Central. Yeah. And uh, said this. Breaking news. Mike Lindell, the pillow guy, was just raided by the FBI. Okay, for one, he was not raided. <laughs> That's not an FBI raid. Okay, no. Um, but he continues, We are now officially living in a weaponized police state, rigged elections, and all 
Our country is a laughing soccer over the world. The majesty of the United States is gone. Can't let this happen. Take back America. The majesty of the United States is gone. Wait a minute. Queen Elizabeth just, just died recently. Queen majesty. Oh my God, does Donald Trump still think we're under the queen? No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's uh, maybe a little bit of a stretch. But then again, Donald Trump is dumb enough probably to believe such a thing. Uh, that said, if the majesty of the United States is indeed gone, then it already happened and you can't get it back because it's gone. Again, I'm just having fun with this, okay? <laughs> but no, what really happened, of course, is that agents had asked Lindell about his relationship with Tina Peters. You know, that whole county clerk in Mesa, Colorado, who absconded, you know, ran away uh, after allegedly breaching voting machines, uh, which is she is not supposed to do. Uh, fun fact, also, she had tried to kick a cop while she was being arrested. Again, fun fact here. Uh, in a copy of a subpoena uploaded by Lindell, the agents took his phone in search of information related to the possible tampering with voting machines connected to the 2020 presidential election. So it would seem, that, of course, that they had probable cause. I mean, you don't just go and, you know, interrupt uh, Mike Pillow in the middle of ordering a mushroom and Swiss sandwich uh, to, you know, take his phone. If you didn't have probable cause, just saying. <laughs> In fact, the subpoena allegedly called for any attempted misappropriation, theft, conversion, transfer, or exfiltration of any proprietary hardware, software, or other data related to voting machines. Now, Lindell famously has been on the warpath against the voting machines and has openly supported Tina Peters, even giving her about $200,000 in legal defense. So, I mean, look, if you're looking for anybody who would have an interest in getting data from voting machines, it would be the guy who's ran several symposiums and claims to have massive evidence from the voting machines themselves about how they were allegedly hacked. You know, by China or the Iranians, the Italians, the, the Pomeranians, uh, or anyone else. Uh, that he, you know, alleges stole the election from Donald Trump. <laughs> so, all right. Now, that's Trump's reaction, but let's get to the best reaction. The one, the best that I've seen so far, and that's actually from Hardee's. Believe it or not. That's the official account. Now that you know we exist, you should really try our Louis Biscuits. <laughs> oh man it's it, it's pretty funny when a literal corporate brand not only gets to dunk on you in a nice little stealthy way but also to of course try to promote their biscuits oh uh, okay uh now lindell of course responded to the by the way an insider spoke to lindell and they were like, hey, by the way, Hardy's made fun of you. What do, what do you think about that? <laughs> to which he said, funny. Real funny. Well, you know what? I agree. Hilarious.